little siblings and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button because we have a fun story today. Before I start, I want you guys to let me know if you guys like these sit down story time videos or if they're boring or I don't know. I think that they're kind of fun, plus they're really easy to film when I'm out of town like I am right now. Also, events coming up, I have my graduation, I'm going to go back and walk at my school, and then I'm going to the Dominican Republic right after that, I'm in Virginia right now, so much is going on, so make sure to subscribe because we have a lot of fun stuff coming at you. But today I'm going to be telling a story about how and when and why I moved into a closet under the stairs. It's super small and I just had a mattress in this back corner. It's an L-shaped closet right under the stairs. I had these shelves over here that had all my clothes, all my belongings, and then I had a tiny little nightstand kind of next to my bed. We also had to drill a hole in the wall so that I could have electricity in there. And I'm pretty sure that I got like some bad air in there. So we'd always open the door during the day and have a fan going to bring in fresh air. Cause at night I would always have bad dreams or like hallucinate and like weird stuff like that. So pretty sure I wasn't getting enough oxygen. Well, whenever I actually first started my YouTube channel, I was living in this closet. So I was 14 years old and actually I think I moved into there when I was 13 years old. It was my eighth grade year. I shared a room with my sister right down the hall and I honestly just got really tired of sharing a room. I never shared a room before I had a sister, before my dad and my stepmom got married. So it was weird for me to be sharing a room. I didn't really like it. And then like having sleepovers when you share a room is like, kind of complicated there's so many girls like he get kind of loud and annoying so I just decided that I wanted to have my own room but there were so many people living in this house that there was no extra room unless I had moved into the theater room but that's like a group room so I couldn't just move into there so I was at my friend's house my best friend in eighth grade and we we're just hanging out and I don't know where this idea came from but we're like oh my gosh you want your own room you know that room under the stairs that we always go hide in yeah you should move into there, you know, look, the closet. And we thought it was the best idea ever. So we got out like a piece of paper and we drew a picture of the room and we like wrote little things like, okay, bed goes here and all this goes here. I mean, it wasn't much planning because it's such a small, tiny little room. Then we came right over. We live really close together, so I'm pretty sure we just I just longboarded back over to my house, and that day, we just went and took everything I owned out of my room. I had to get rid of a bunch of clothes, too, because nothing, like, fit in that closet, obviously. The only things I kept in my sister's room were all the dresses, because we share dresses anyway, so I kept all the nice clothes hung up in the closet in her room. I moved everything else into my room. I got pretty innovative. I was, like, hanging things on the walls and whatnot. And my dad comes home and there's just like stuff that was in the closet in the living room. I'm in the closet. Everyone's like, why? What are you doing? What's going on? And I was like, you know, I just, I want my own room. I'm going to move into this closet. And no one really cared. So I just kept moving into the closet. So that day, me and my dad tried to prepare the room and we realized, one, there's no plugins in there. And two, there's like no airflow going into there because it's just a closet under the stairs. So we realized that the back wall where my bed was connected to the laundry room. And so we went in the laundry room and there was a plug pretty close. We could probably get an extension cord in there. So we drilled a hole through the wall and then we had to like put the extension cord through the hole through the wall into the other room and it kept like falling into the hole because it was like two walls so we had to get like a hanger and like grab it and one of us was in the closet and one of us was in the laundry room we were trying to like weave it through with a hanger it was really funny well I finally got it through so I had this one really long extension cord and that's what I would plug my lights into because there was obviously like no lighting in there and my charger anything I needed got plugged into there so that was my power source so then the other problem was that there's no airflow in there I unless I was sleeping in my room or changing in my room and yes I would change in there it's like this wide I would have to like I don't know I just like I'm really small so it worked but we decided that the door would be open during the day and we'd get a fan going in there especially right before I went to bed so that there was oxygen in there while I was sleeping 
and I couldn't remember if there was already a lock on this door or not, but if there wasn't, we definitely put one on there because this was straight up my room. I didn't go into the bathroom to change or anything. I would always change in my room, everything. And it, but the good thing about living in that room is when it came time that the boys were all moving out, so the girls were gonna switch and move into the boys' hallway because there's two like hallways. There's three bedrooms and there were six kids living at home. So the boys all started moving out. So it was like, which sister gets the big, the biggest room, which is the one I'm in right now. And since I had moved into a closet, automatically pretty much bumped me up into the room with the walk-in closet and huge room. That was nice. So I went from like the tiny, tiny little room to a really big room. I can't believe I actually lived in there. If you go look at my old vlogs, I actually do a lot of videos in there. I'll be talking about stuff and I'm like squished against the wall. My camera's like set up on my little dresser type thing. It was really fun though. Um, every time people would come over, I'd be like, this is my room, what want a tour? Because everyone thought it was just so funny. I was literally Harry Potter, like living under the stairs. But some issues I had is we go to Bible study every morning before school. And once you get into high school, you start going. But I was still in middle school when I moved in there. So my three older siblings that were going would get up at like 5.45 in the morning. They'd leave by 6.05. That was the latest they could leave. So you would hear, I would hear them running up the stairs at 6 every morning. So I always had to wake up at 6 a.m. But then I just fall back asleep. Since I was in middle school, school didn't start until much later. So it was really annoying to get woken up. But it's okay. Also during eighth grade, since I now lived in a closet and I didn't really have any entertainment, that's when I got really, really good at hair because I would just go in the bathroom if I needed a break from my closet and just practice doing hair for hours at a time. I would just get on YouTube or Pinterest or whatever. I learned how to French braid my own hair, Dutch braid, all these different type of braids. So I'm really good at hair, so that is a good thing that came out of this. Another problem that I had is for some reason, I always had like nightmares or I would like hallucinate things in there. So I've come to the conclusion that I just was not getting enough oxygen because I would always wake up so scared. And maybe it was because I was still like young and scared of a lot of things, but I'd wake up and I'd always like see things in my closet and it's like tiny. So like, how would anything even get in there? I don't know. But I always like see things in there and I'd always have really bad nightmares. It was a great time. Oh, this was probably like the worst part of it is that I had to walk so far to get to the bathroom. And so if I got out of the shower, I'm like going to walk into my closet, I got my towel on, and there's just like a bunch of people in the living room because they're, whenever everyone lived at home, everyone always had friends over. So I'd just be like, hi. And then everyone just like awkwardly watches me like walk into this tiny little closet and they're like, what, that's her room? And I'm like, yep, that's my room. But hey, maybe it pushed me to be more creative or something because that's when I started my YouTube channel. So, I guess something was working out for me. But honestly, I don't know, like I could never go back to living in the closet, but when I did, I don't, I just like didn't care. I was never really home or in it. I was always out with friends. I was always playing outside, longboarding around. And I lived in there until I think sophomore year. So like two or three years I was living in that closet and it never bothered me once. Like I never thought of it as a problem. Now I'm like, I could never live in a small room. Maybe I just have PTSD from it or something, I don't know. I had this like box thing that I put like my perfume and everything in. I also had, ooh, I had this mirror in there and this was my only mirror. So I'd always like check my outfit with this mirror, like, you know, like standing up trying to check out my outfit. Which living with no full body mirror, don't know how I did that. Honestly, that was the biggest problem. I had this like shelf thing. It was basically like a box that you'd put like pants or something like that in and I hung it on the wall like sideways so it was open right here and I put my perfume and stuff in it but literally every time because the ceiling goes down every time I'd walk out I'd stand up too early and I'd hit it and everything would fall of course my camera died right as I'm finishing up this video but I was basically just saying that it would fall on me literally every time I stood up and it was a pain but that was basically my life of living in this closet Honestly, after editing this video, I don't even really like it, but I honestly have nothing else to post today and I already missed a post. So we're out here posting not the greatest content, but at least it's content. And I've been wanting to tell this story for a while. I just like, it's not like, I don't know. I hope it was like still entertaining and let you guys see a little bit into my life that maybe wasn't on camera or you haven't seen a bunch of my like very first videos where I was always in the closet. But basically, that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, I graduate tomorrow. There's my 
graduation gown and then I go to the Dominican on Monday. Um, we'll just call that my senior trip, honestly. There we go. And me and Dallin are going, so make sure to go follow me on Instagram because there's going to be a lot of good content. Okay. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.